Ninja Fire Flower. Yeah, from what game? Mario. Mario. We hope you're going to follow along with us. You need something to draw with. We always use markers because we like using markers. Some paper, <laughs> paper. and something to color with. All right, let's get started. Bam. Bam. <laughs> let's first draw our flower's eyes. We're going to draw two ovals, and they're really tall and skinny. So we're going to draw them like this. Go around, back up. Kind of looks like a hot dog shape. You can drop more, like right here in the middle of the paper so that we have room to draw the ovals around the eyes. Yes, hot dog shape. There you go. And then back down. All right, now let's draw another one. We're gonna draw, we'll leave some space and then we'll draw the same shape for the second eye. Yeah, that's perfect. Back up. Now at the very top, let's draw a circle for the highlight, the top of his eyes, the flower's eyes. There we go. Now let's color in the bottom part or the big hot dog shape and leave the little circle white. That part we sped up, but you guys can pause the video to take time, extra time to finish that step. Now let's draw the first oval or the center of our flower. I'm gonna turn my paper sideways, makes it a little easier to draw. I'm gonna start at the top and I'm gonna draw an oval that goes all the way around our fl flower's eyes and then back to the top. Yeah, keep going. All right, now we're gonna repeat that same step. We're gonna draw another big oval. We're gonna start close over here at the top and on the side we're gonna get further away and then down at the bottom we're gonna be close also, far away on the sides. Does that make sense? Yeah. So it's wider on the side and closer in the top. Oh, you're doing such a great job. Yeah. Good. Okay, now let's do that same step one more time. Now this is for that very outside ring on our flower. So we're gonna start here, go around, wider on the sides, and then closer together on the top and bottom. Yeah, there you go. All right, man, good job. Now let's draw the stem. We're gonna draw two lines that come down from the bottom of our flower, and they're kind of far apart. I'm gonna actually make them a little longer, so I'll extend them down at the bottom. Now we're gonna connect these two lines at the bottom with a curve. Good, now let's draw the leaves. We're gonna draw a curve that starts right here, and we're gonna curve out to the side. I kind of stopped right at the edge. Now we're gonna draw the outside shape. So we'll start here where, where we first drew the curve, come around like this, so it comes up higher and then comes down to a point. Good, and then we'll draw the bottom shape of our leaf. Then we're gonna repeat that same step over here on the left side. So first draw a curve that comes up and out. This is for our second leaf. We're gonna draw another curve that comes up and then back down. And then draw the bottom of our leaf that comes down and connects. And that's it, Austin, we did it. Except we still need to do one more thing, what is it? Color it. Yeah, we need to color our fire flowers. They're gonna look so much better colored in. This part we're gonna fast forward one more time, but at the end you guys can pause it again to match the same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Awesome, give me five. You did a great job on your flower. I love how it turned out. Now we did something different in this lesson when we colored it, didn't we? Yeah. What, what did we use? Markers. Yeah, we used markers. Now you guys can use whatever you want to color in your drawings, but I also use colored pencils that go on top of the marker to add shading and highlights to make it look more 3D. But you can just keep this lesson simple by coloring it solid. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your fire flower. We do, we hope you had a lot of fun, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hey parents and teachers, join our monthly membership and download our app. You can watch all of our art lessons in a safe, distraction-free environment. In the app, you can also download lessons to watch without any Wi-Fi connection. Just visit artforkidshub.tv to join.